Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations to all our majors and minors. Congratulations. Congratulations to all our majors and minors graduating this winter 2020 in English, Spanish, Medical Humanities, Film Studies, Folklore and Mythology, Humanities and Gender Studies. We are excited to share in this celebration and are proud of all you have accomplished. You will be entering a wonderful new chapter in your life during what has been a most unusual year. And we are confident that those things that make you unique, your cultural savvy, creativity, intelligence, and resourcefulness, will strengthen our communities. We wish you the best. We wish you the best. We wish you all the best in your future endeavors. And don't be a stranger. We always want to know how you're doing. Congratulations. I would like to offer my heartfelt congratulations to Alexandra Puerto and Tiriana Richards, who are graduating this year. It's been an absolute pleasure and an honor to have you both in my classrooms, in many classrooms of mine, lucky me. Um, th this is a huge milestone, and of course it's been a very difficult uh, end of the year. Uh, not, I'm sure, what it was that you were anticipating. But you have much to look forward to, and I wish you both all the best in your in your academic journey, your personal journey, and your professional journey. Um, and I surely hope you stay in touch and let me know how you're faring along the way. I'd like to read a poem uh, in honor, uh, to honor, Tiriana Richards and Alexandra Porto. The, the poem is a poem by Mary Oliver, and it's called The Summer Day. Who made the world? Who made the swan and the black bear? Who made the grasshopper? This grasshopper, I mean. The one who has flung herself out of the grass. The one who is eating sugar out of my hand. Who is moving her jaws back and forth instead of up and down. With, who is gazing around with her enormous and complicated eyes. Now she lifts her pale forearms and thoroughly washes her face. Now she snaps her wings open and floats away. I don't know exactly what a prayer is. I do know how to pay attention, how to fall down into the grass how to kneel down in the grass, how to be idle and blessed, how to stroll through the fields, which is what I have been doing all day. Tell me, what else should I have done? Doesn't everything die at last and too soon? Tell me, what is it you plan to do with your one wild and precious life?